Today we're going to try something a little different. Um, I picked up some interesting glitter glues uh, and I want to see uh, what kind of effect they'll have in these pores that I'm going to be doing on records. Um, I didn't mix them into all of the paints, but the paints that I have here, this one, uh, has the black glitter glue in it and you can see the glitter running through that. Uh, that was mixed in with a little bit of black unicorn spit and blue thunder unicorn spit. Um, the reason why I want to try these glitter glues is because um, Usually when I add glitter to paint, um, it doesn't sit properly, but I'm thinking that since this glitter is made specifically for the glue, it might sit a little bit differently. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try and see how that works. Um, I added a glue in the dark glitter. It's an iridescent glitter to the white. And I just used this white. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. This is I'm actually a little bit concerned about because uh, there's a lot of bubbles forming in here. So that could be good. That could be bad. We'll have to see how it sits on the record. This one uh, just has normal Elmer's glue in it. Um, it's a silver has a little bit of a iridescent quality to it. It's like a metallic silver. Uh, this one right here does not have any glitter glue in it either. It just has normal Elmer's glue. And um, this one is, oh, it, I love the color tones in this. This is gonna be pretty interesting. It's almost like a color shift paint. I am super excited about the way that this turned out. Um, it's just got like so much depth to it. it almost looks like a resin and what I did was I added uh, this and a little bit of the blue thunder and mixed it up and it came out like that it looks amazing um, and then for my final color uh, this is a I guess it's more of like a brownish um, silver Still has a little bit of an iridescent quality to it. Uh, I mixed that with glue. Um, this particular silver, a little bit of the black, and I forgot it. It's over here. Oh. The squirrel. Uh, mixed a little bit of the squirrel in there just to give it a little bit more of a, of a brown tone. Um, so that might give it, give us a little bit of um, color variation. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a try and see how it goes. This is gonna be a clock, I hope, <laughs> if it works out. Um, like I said, I've never tried these glitter glues before in a pour. So it should be interesting. So I'm just going to use a um, regular vinyl record for this. Um, I painted it a little bit of uh, white, um, just so it uh, so the the darker colors might show up a little bit better on a white canvas. I'm assuming. Um, and then I checked and made sure that this is all level. Take you down here to see all the details. That really came out amazing. So, a couple of things that I'm going to do on the next one. 
Um, the paint was pretty thick when it was coming out of there. And I think that has to do with the fact that the uh, glitter glue is a gel glue. So I think it's just a different consistency, even though I, I felt like they were all the same consistency going into it. Um, just didn't move quite the way I was expecting it to.